So let's talk about BRICS or the BRICS nations. What are they? Well, it's Brazil, India, China, Russia, and South Africa, and soon to be a whole litany of other nations. Now you see the G, the G7, G6, G8 nations have been running the economic shit heap for some time, and most of the nations in the G8, and mainly I'll talk about my home country of the United States, is we're not doing anything to solve our economic problems. We're just kicking the can down the road, raising the debt ceiling, and increasing inflation. Uh, <clears throat> by leaps and bounds and we're printing money now the BRICS nations don't need to do anything to destroy america america's greatest enemies don't need to do anything they don't need to attack america they don't need to do shit because america is committing sebaku with the dollar we're not investing in gold we're not investing in silver hell the only thing we are investing is fucking ukraine continuing a, a war a, a needless war against russia for the next five years and basically that's the only thing the u.s has been doing for the past i don't know five centuries is funding foreign conflicts instead of funding and helping its own people and, and ensuring its economic survivability whereas brazil india china russia and south africa you know i mean russia has its economic issues too but they're at least assuring the value of their fucking paper money and their currency whereas the united states we have a president that literally shits his pants i don't know if you guys have realized that or it's sunk in for the most americans he can't even find his way off a stage he literally shits his fucking pants and that should be disconcerting and he's running a second time so can you imagine if Biden, uh, which here's my prediction, he'll probably get in a second time due to shenanigans and bullshit, or that Americans are that stupid enough to vote for the dumb bastard. Uh, so the BRICS nations will probably be the new world power, and I think the new world order sees this and they're going, oh shit, well, uh, we, we better escalate World War III with Ukraine, because that's the only play they got is just shit in everyone's cereal and hope to survive the uh, uh, post-thermonuclear-like nuclear like winter frozen hell in their bunker or something i don't know but yeah it's not looking too well for the west because mainly the west is mentally handicapped and they haven't figured out that they should be investing in gold and silver and at least caring for their own citizens instead of foreign conflicts overseas but that's just my take uh who knows maybe a new dawn will come and somehow america will come up with some new energy source that will uh, bring us back to the uh, economic throne room, but uh, I doubt it. Uh, the current state of America is uh, in shambles, despicable, and the BRICS nations are thinking ahead. And again, they don't need to. No one needs to attack America. They just need to sit and wait, as uh, the, the average fifty-six-year-old congressman and woman just continue to um, pile drive our country into further debt, uh, destitution, and uh, collapse. So that's that. Uh, they just need to wait for America to essentially commit seppuku. That's it.